Okay, so I tried so hard to film this morning. I was feeling creative and it's been a long time since I've filmed and I was gonna do like a chatty get ready with me with my skincare and everything and I don't know what happened. I just sat down to edit the all of the footage that I had and I somehow lost or deleted my actual skincare routine so I'll just have to do a separate video on my skincare routine. Hello welcome to my channel. Here's my intro I guess. Um, I'm Sarah, Sarah Prawn. Thanks for joining me for coming back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. If you're new to my channel thanks for joining me. Um, I just wanted to do a really lazy girl get ready with me skincare makeup routine so this is the finished results and I can show you how I got to this stage. I just can't show you my skincare routine that I normally do so um, not this time anyways. I'll do that for another video but yeah the footage just sort of jumps right into it so hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> So here I'm using Smashbox Tinted Moisturizer Shade Medium. Uh, this also has SPF 25 in it. Usually I use a beauty blender, but I do not have a sponge right now and I'm just using my hands. Um, what next? Oh, usually I do a concealer. Okay, so I have the ELF ELF 16 hour camo concealer in tan walnut. So I'm just concealing a little bit of the corners of my uh, under eye for a little discoloration and um, a bit of a highlighter and then I'm covering up some blemishes as well. And again, usually I have a beauty blender sponge, but today I do not, so. So again, just going in with the ultimate precision of the human finger and trying to blend this in as much as possible. I wear glasses. I'm not wearing glasses, obviously, in this video, and I can't see anything, so. Here you go. Okay, so that's basically the base of what I do here. Um, I also go in with ELF uh, Flawless Finish Foundation Oil Free Satin Finish in shade 81385. Um, a little amount. Like I just do like a little swipe. Just to give a little bit of definition. Honestly, I can never get the contour on this side right. The other side is always perfect. And then this side always fails me. Okay, um, what else do people do? <laughs> Um, contour up here a little bit. And, oh yeah, you saw me do, like, on the sides of my nose. Mm -hmm. 
I literally have no idea when that stopped recording, but I just finished putting this on my face. <laughs> um, here's a really old Body Shop blush, all in one cheek color, shade Guava. Um, and I actually just take my finger and I dab it on the tip of my nose because that's what all the e-girls do and I just have to say I was a punk goth um, skater girl in high school I got bullied because of it so I just have to pat myself and all the rest of the goth punk girls, millennial girls out there who walked so all the beautiful young ladies could run and I'm freaking here for it. Okay, so I'm literally just slapping this on in like a half moon shape here. Cupid's bow, trust the process. Gonna go ahead and buff that out. Oh, what brush am I using? I'm using Diamond Powder 901 brush from my from my 2008 cosmetology school beauty kit. Oh, should I have said the date? That's like it's a long ass time ago. Okay, literally just smashing this on my face. Good enough. And then my highlighter, <laughs> smithereens. Oh, we're just gonna smash this on again. Am I wearing too much highlighter? Yes. <laughs> End of story. All the eyelashes. With such precision. I have the straightest eyelashes. I went to get, I, well, I have my um, eyebrows done, uh, microbladed, and, and she also tinted and uh, permed my eyelashes and they were just so straight. There was not much she could do with it and it only lasted for like a week. So for me, wouldn't get lash tint and lift again just because it does not work on my hair type. I use Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, I use the little mini tubes I don't wear makeup very often. Okay, I have no idea when that stopped recording again, but I use the little mini mascara um, because I don't wear makeup too often and it just ends up drying out. And I like using some of the higher end um, mascaras. So I don't wanna spend like 50 dollars on a huge tube of mascara that is just gonna end up drying out and um, not being hygienic and I can't use it and have to throw it out anyways. And then you're not supposed to pump your wand, you're supposed to scrape the sides. Otherwise you can put bacteria into the bottle and then it's just like a breeding ground of bacteria cesspool inside of there cool, dark environment. They love it. Yeah, I had to delete a whole bunch of files on my phone because it just was not letting me um, record any longer. Um, I'm just going to finish doing my mascara because that's all I want to do and I'm getting impatient now. 
over it. And like pretty sure this is why I just don't do my makeup on a regular basis because I'm impatient. Oh, look how good it looks though. doing some on the bottom lashes. I don't do too much on my bottom lashes. I have smaller almond shape eyes, so I don't like to weigh down the bottom lids too much. Did that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that compute into the makeup world? making sure I'm still recording. I've just had so much trouble with my camera today. Today, like, it's a new thing for me. Um, and camera being the camera on my phone, you gotta use whatever you have, you know? I've been feeling creative and wanting to get some content out there. And so here we are. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name's Sarah, um, and I'm just trying to show you what I do as a lazy girl who gets ready very infrequently. <laughs> ELF, mad for Matt, um, and I'm gonna go in with this sort of rusty sort of color and just kind of go all in there. I go into the crease. Deepen that up a little bit. And then I bring it into my lash line. Trusting the process. Because right now I feel like I look a little insane. I'm gonna go in with some of this one now. So this peachy color. And I'm just trying to like open up the lid a little bit. Blend it out. Do the same thing on the other side. I know that I'm should have done my mascara last. That's not how I do my makeup. I'm literally just showing you how I do my makeup. And sometimes it's different. <laughs> like it's really not consistent. It's however I'm feeling that day. Sometimes if I'm feeling creative or whatever, I just like do it a different way or I try a different technique or I like, I watch a lot of YouTube um, tutorials and stuff like that. So if I see something that I like on another channel, maybe I'll try it out. Or maybe I just want to like try something new and, you know, do it all on my own. It's a really light color right here. And I'm going to just open up the inner corner of my eye. Literally good enough. Okay, I've had this forever. Like actually for 
I don't know, like eight years. This is MAC. It's a really pretty shimmery black pigment. Oh my gosh, the label is, it's called Black Tide Velvet Eyeshadow. So I'm just using an angled brush. I just start kind of in the corner and I just sort of like pack it in. I'm not doing it the way I usually do it. Um, I don't know why I got super creative for this video, but we're, we're gonna go for it. Wow, what have I done? It's like, okay, it's not that bad. So I like using eyeshadow because it's a little more forgiving than um, using liquid liner. I'm obviously not the best at this. But I feel like this one needs to be darkened up just a little bit. That's all right, that's not so bad. I think that's pretty all right. What do you guys think? Um, I was gonna go in and do my eyebrows now, but again, ELF. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty okay with my artistry that I've done already. I uh, don't want to overdo it. Um, I'm also trying to grow in my eyebrows so they're quite thick right now so when I if I over fill them they make me look quite insane um, and I'm not trying to go for that look today. An ELF Seriously Satin in cider. And I just sort of over overfill because that seems to be what everybody does now. Pretty much it. Cool. These were handmade by my cousin. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, this is like a really quick way that I would get ready. Um, normally I don't do the wing liner, but, oh, there's a little spritz of, uh, right in the face. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, please subscribe if you like my content, and if you're coming back, thanks for coming back, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye!